let's talk about the navigation of Dynamics 365 sales. Now, what you're looking at over here is out of the box, how it looks like when we first get Dynamics. It is very possible that your company has changed it. So the entities here or the items in the navigation here is going to look different. Having said that, I'm going to go through just some typical navigation options that you see, and then you can you know, translate that with how you have it set up in your organization. First thing to note, you have the waffle top left right here. If I click on that, from here, the Office 365 Launcher or Waffle lets you get access to any Microsoft 365 as well as Dynamics 365 as well as Power Apps that were built by your organization. Everything is available right there. You can even click on Office 365. It'll take you to the home page, which looks like that, office.com. Then there's the Sales Hub right here. If I click on Sales Hub, it shows me all the different apps all of them which are available as business apps by my organization. These are apps within Dynamics. These are apps also built using Power Apps by my organization. So everything is one click away. I can even search for an app. And if I have the capability, then I can click on Create New App and I can make it from here as well. Up top here, I have Search. I can go ahead and click on Search and just search for any entity within Dynamics. After that, I here I have uh, task flows, so different kind of flows which are already provided to me. I can execute them from right there. I have an assistant over here, which if I clicked on and I was at a place where it gave me additional insights as to what I'm looking for. There's a plus sign right here, which lets me create a record very quickly from here if I wanted to. A filter button over here, which lets me filter for information. The settings icon. The help icon take me to Microsoft Help. This takes me to the community. I can connect and share information. Here, it just shows me who I'm logged in as. Now, on the navigation to the left, all this information depends, once again, how, how things are set up in my organization. So you've got leads, accounts, opportunities, competitors, quotes, orders, invoices. Very possible that some of this stuff could be changed by your organization. Another thing to remember is all the stuff that I have been to appears in recent, okay? And anything that I've pinned appears in pinned. So I do have one thing pinned. In order to pin other stuff so I can get to it quickly, just go to something like My Active Contacts and pin it. So now, here we go, My Active Contacts appears here. Now by default, if I click on the home, it just brings me back to the sales activity social dashboard here but I can go to a different dashboard. Let's say, for example, a sales dashboard. And uh, if I like this better, and I want this view to be available when I come back later, then I can go ahead and just set this one as default. So set as default. Okay, now if I go back to home, it will just bring me here. So definitely feel free to customize the way you want. It makes the most sense because you'll be the one using it.